Roman soldiers survived about 80% of battlefield wounds. This changes everything we know about ancient war. Between 98-180 AD, Rome relied on manpower. Losing men meant losing borders. So they built medicine into the army. Archaeology provides the receipts. Tools, healed bones, and repair marks on armor match surgical texts. The numbers are unexpected. Triage happens at the edge of battle. Romans prioritized salvageable wounds. Quick decisions saved men and time. Fractures tell the real story. Healed bones show proper alignment. Splints and repeated care did the work. They fought infection with wine, vinegar, and dressings. Pain relief included poppy extracts and cold compresses. Evacuation was systemized. Fercula carried men to tents. Wagons moved the worst to camp hospitals. Bones record survival. Healed calluses and alignment show long-term care. Archaeology reads like a medical chart. Studies estimate roughly 70-85% survival for non-fatal wounds. That's massive for ancient warfare. Survival changed veteran demographics. More veterans returned to service and to families. The empire benefited. Roman methods influenced later military medicine. Triage, evacuation, and surgery echo across centuries. The army that conquered Europe also perfected battlefield medicine. Their victory came with a surgeon's scalpel. One system change saved thousands. The Romans treat war as logistics. What should modern medicine borrow next?